greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And today we are watching two different species of bees. One is honeybee, Apis mellifera, and one is leafcutter bee. This is Megahile genus, of the same family Apidae. So they are bees, but they are different, different in behavior, different in morphological appearance, in their morphological structures. And in general you can see that they look like very similar, but to be careful, you can recognize that they are different. Actually we have here three bees, one is sitting here in the angle, she is quiet. Here we have three different bees, three different females, because honeybee is also female, but this is a worker just collected on flowers, and two queens of leafcutter bee Megahile. What are differences? You can easily recognize them if they are here together on screen. You see, on the left side this is a honeybee. She is very active and express really collecting behavior. She is trying to collect honey. But behavior of leafcutter bee on the right side is more subs suppressed. She is just irritated because of light of lamp, because of presence of other bees, but still she is not trying to collect honey. Because I gave it just drops of honey here to feed them. And you see, honey bee has a longer tongue and collected honey very easily and recognize that honey is here. Because probably this is a scout bee or foreign or collector bee, so she needs to collect honey to bring it to beehive. Unfortunately, she came to this petri dish to be as actress to show you the appearance. So, can you see the differences? On the right side, this is leafcutter bee. Mandibles on the head, much bigger, because this is very important tool to cut leaves and to cut pieces of soil to, make, to build the nest underground, because leafcutter bee is making the nest underground, underground nest in the hole, just underground. But honeybee is living in beehive, together with compatriots, with other workers, drones and queen. And she is just worker bee. She is more active, she is trying to escape. And morphologically you see honeybee is slender and to be precise, even smaller than, than leafcutter bee of a genus Megahila. She is also irritated by the light of lamp and trying to escape from a petri dish. Sorry about this. But what about morphological characters? If you were trying to make a zoom to show the magnification of honeybee. You can recognize baskets on hind legs of honeybee. Yes, baskets. Baskets are used to collect pollen and collect some kind of oil to make propolis. She is hairy, but relatively hairy on thorax, not so much hairy on abdomen, with more or less narrow wings. But what's about leafcutter bee? Leafcutter bee, as I said, has a very big head with big mandibles, long antenna and very hairy body. You see, the body is hairy with orange down part of abdomen, hairy thorax and hairy abdomen, especially down part of abdomen with different color, colors of abdomen on the down part. 
And what's that? This is a sp special tool for collecting pollen, because honeybee is collecting pollen on baskets, on hind legs. But this one, you see, you see, you see, array, orange colors of down part of abdomen. Yes, yes, again, orange color. You have recognized it? Leafcutter bee is collecting honey on down part of the abdomen and bringing to underground nests. But hind legs are very hairy and without basket. But for honeybees this is a very special tool. Hind legs basket, which is, this is a very special adaptation, which is used and hind legs, you see, tibia, femur and femur and first tarsus shining, making a very special tool for collecting pollen. But legs of these bees, beef cutter bee, are just hairy, they are not shiny, they have no adaptation for collecting pollen on legs because the adaptation is different. Collect pollen on abdomen and probably the cutter bee can collect more pollen than honeybee because she is bigger size and abdomen is pretty large. You see. Again, if I made before high magnification of legs, I recognize that legs are totally hairy, hairy tibia, hairy femur, and hairy tarsi. And especially hairy down part of abdomen for collecting pollen. And you see the body is not so slender like honeybee. It is robust, robust and wide. And also one very special Adaptation, honeybee has a sting. Yes, that's why I'm very careful to keep it in petri dish, to be careful for protection against stinging. But leafcutter bee has a sting, but very short, very small, and usually cannot try to protect it itself. Even uh, I took the body of leaf cutter bee in my hands and my fingers. Leaf cutter bee usually no stinging. Or stinging just a little, little and not painfully. But for honeybee, you know, you must be very careful because honeybees can sting and it's very painful. So, can you recognize now easily? Where is honeybee and where is leafcutter bee? Like here, they are all together. They are together again. You see. Right side honeybee, left side leafcutter bee. And here, this is leafcutter bee. Right side honeybee. Leafcutter bee. Honeybee on the right. A leaf cutter bee with open mandibles. A leaf cutter bee probably died a little bit. But later we will recognize the honey. We can feed easily in captivity, so to restore some activities to be alive. Because now it's evening time, even midnight, and I will release them tomorrow morning. In the center, this is a leaf cutter bee of genus Megahila, which prefer to live underground. But some species of Megahila can live in holes in rotten wood. But these species live in underground. Yes, left side, this is a honeybee. Very narrow head, slender body. 
for your basket, my hind legs, and longer tongue. So I counted the differences. And maybe on some other videos I will try to show these characters with high magnification. Here I cannot show it because honeybee is very active and try to escape. And this is leaf cutter bee megahela. I show you the abdomen of Megahela. Yes, that's well visible. Big mandibles, very hairy down part of the abdomen. Orange color of abdomen on the uh, on the downside. You see, so hairy. Each steroid has hairy cover, which is used for collecting pollen. Upper side sternoid, down part, upper side pterygoid and down part sternoid. Sternoids are used for collecting pollen. And this is a very special adaptation for leaf cutter bee for the whole family Megahelidae. And this is Megahelidae leaf cutter bees. So I hope you have been surprised that honeybee is so similar to wild bees because leaf cutter bee is a social bee and leaf honeybee is social bee. But leaf cutter bee are solitary bees. Despite they are two together, but they are separate queens. And honeybee is a worker bee. Queen is in Bihar. So this is a story about beef cutter bees who are sitting in the center and running honey beef who is running around. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, press like, write your comments and ask your questions. And to be continued and don't forget, Ukraine are forever. Ukraine will win. And to be continued, my stories are coming soon. Good luck. Bye-bye. Don't forget to visit my Patreon page and to be a sponsor of my channel. Bye-bye. Of insects. If you like nature as I like, subscribe to my channel, write your comments, ask your questions. And if you need advice, ask me for your for advice. And don't forget, welcome to my channel. Watch my new videos as well. Good luck. See you soon on my channel. Bye bye.